Happy Easter, everyone. 2020, of course, will be the toughest year that we as a country have faced since the Second World War. Many of us have lost our jobs. Many of us have seen our businesses devastated. Many of us have seen our education disrupted. Many of us are lonely, isolated, separated from family and friends. And a number of us, thankfully so far, a relatively modest number, are suffering coronavirus, some of whom are in hospital as we speak. For Christians, Holy Week is the most important week on the calendar. For all of us, of all faiths and none, Easter is traditionally a time to be with loved ones and family, to celebrate and to relax. This year, of course, it's a whole new ball game and that will be so much harder. The message that all our public health authorities, all our frontline health workers are giving us is this. If you can stay at home, please stay at home. Physical distancing and personal hygiene are our best bets in tackling coronavirus. I want to thank our frontline workers, our health workers, our police, our emergency services workers, frontline workers right across the state who are tackling the scourge of coronavirus head on. And I also want to thank the entire community, the vast majority of whom are taking sensible precautions to tackle this virus. It will be tough. It will be a tough Easter. But we know that if we're in this together, we can beat this virus. So let's all get together, work together, show us what we've got as Australians and beat coronavirus. I know that when we come through this, if we do that, we'll be stronger. I'd urge all of you to take this moment to connect with your family and friends over Easter. In many cases, you won't be able to do that physically, but pick up the telephone, Skype someone, FaceTime someone, make sure that you stay in regular contact, particularly with those who are lonely or isolated or vulnerable. And let's fight this together and come out stronger the other side. Happy Easter.